tool vehicle there. Allow you to tool boot uh, Windows and Ubuntu Linux. Um, so first we're going to go up here and type in www.ubi-installer.org and don't worry, I'll put this in the description. So once you've got to, so once you've got to Wubi, uh, the website, you're gonna come to download. Now this is a very uh, easy program. Uh, we'll show you some screenshots first before we start downloading. Um, it's a very easy setup. Uh, you just, it's all, all the software's already in there, um, and it's very easy. It, it it won't erase your Windows or anything. It won't corrupt any files. It's just a simple little program that I add a boot file to Windows and then you can boot to Win Linux or Windows. So we're going to go to download. We're going to download the file. And it will bring you to this site. Uh, and you're going to click save file. Downloaded, and then you're going to get it open. And then it will bring you to this, this uh, little prompt. We're going to close the web page out real quick. And it will bring you up to here. This is where you'll be able to select the size of how much you want the program to take. So we're going to do 10, uh, we'll do 15 gigabytes just for now. And then you have your choice of what uh, flavor, if you want to call it, flavor of uh, Ubuntu you want. We're going to go with Ubuntu, just the rich original one. We're going to change the language to English. We're going to change, then we're going to put the username in. This has to be lowercase, and then the password, whatever you would want it to be. And then it'll start installing and do whatever. <laughs> it'll then connect to uh, Ubuntu.com and uh, start downloading the file. Uh, it looks like it will take... 45 minutes on my connection, uh, so we're going to pause the video now. It looks like it's actually going to be faster than that, so we're going to pause it. So uh, we're going to pause it for a little bit, and uh, we'll be back. installing all of Ubuntu and now it's time to log in. Um, at the moment it's not using my main screen, I'm not sure why, but I'm sure there's a setting in there where I can fix that. So I'm going to put this in real quick. I'll log in. Initiate. Now this will, uh, this uh, username and password will be the one you set up in the uh, Ruby program. So I'm going to just put my password real quick. Num will probably num lock will probably be uh, on or off the other one. So now it's gonna load up. There's your bunker. <coughs> There's your bunker for you. There's your bunker dual booting on a Windows PC. 